Elon Musk has revealed the first glimpse of the most complex, important, and unproven part of Starship's record-breaking version 2.0. The current version of the spacecraft has a core diameter of 9 meters. On Twitter, Musk said that a future iteration may be 18 meters wide, meaning it could be twice the size of the already enormous Starship. Today, in this video, we are talking about the new Starship 2.0. But before that, we welcome you all to our YouTube channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any update from the world of space. Let us now take a quick sneak peek into the new Starship. Assuming it is kept at the same scale and its height is doubled, the future Starship model would tower over the launch pad at 240 meters, significantly taller than the Washington Monument. Most people will be focused on creating the world's largest and most powerful spacecraft that everything else will have to wait. Elon Musk, on the other hand, is not the type of person who would do such a thing. The Starship, the apex of rocket design, was built with foresight. The next edition of the Starship is already in the works, thanks to a millionaire CEO. What is the size and scope of this project? What is Starship 2.0? How powerful is it? And why does Musk require it? The Starship 2.0 is finally coming to fruition, and we've got all the delectable facts for you. If you want to transport people from this planet to another, you'll need a lot of resources. This is the position in which Musk finds himself as he prepares to establish a colony on Mars. The most crucial thing he has to improve is his transportation. The distance between Earth and Mars is millions of miles, and he has to transport people there alive as soon as possible. Because this is a high-cost business, Musk must find the most cost-effective means to transport people between planets. Otherwise, the project would be shelved due to exorbitant expenditures. Musk must transport plenty of other items in addition to passengers. Mars is a tough environment, and Musk will need to send a lot of supplies ahead of time to keep humans alive. To make matters worse, Musk intends to move millions of volunteers in a short period of time in order for the new colony to be self-sustaining. That involves bringing tons of food, building materials for houses or shelter, drugs and so on. The logistics are daunting, but Musk has everything under control. To be honest, no existing rocket can manage all of this without racking up a massive bill. Musk aims to mobilize millions of volunteers in a short period of time. The technicalities are overwhelming, but Musk has everything under control. To address the transportation issue, Musk has designed the Starship, the world's largest and most powerful spacecraft, which the SpaceX team is rapidly creating and testing at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. Apart from housing the Starship's development, Starbase is also where all of the workers will live. In addition to tourists who merely want to see the incredible power of a launch, those who will go on the rocket to Mars will be hosted there as well. It's going to be a hive of activity at Starbase. The Starship, on the other hand, is the main attraction. It's enormous. When the upper and lower sections are put together, it rises 120 meters tall and has a circumference of 9 meters. The space business has never seen anything like it in terms of power. The Starship, which is powered by more than 30 SpaceX-designed rocket engines, can transport payloads of more than 100 metric tons into Earth's orbit. The upper stage, also known as Starship, is the section that will travel to the farthest reaches of the universe. It has a propellant capacity of 1,200 tons, ensuring that this has adequate fuel to reach its objective. The ship is 50 meters tall, with the payload taking up to 18 meters of it. The total volume available for payloads is 1,100 meters cubed. SpaceX will configure the Starship as cargo or personnel to satisfy Musk's needs. The latter will transport people, whilst the former will solely transport freight. Fuel tanks will be used in other configurations. Companies such as NASA and the US Army will use the Starship for other objectives, but we won't go into that in this video. At 70 meters, the lower level, also known as the Super Heavy Booster, is even taller. It will transport 3,400 tons of fuel to assist the Starship in escaping the gravitational pull of Earth. It will generate 72 mega newtons of thrust. Both the ship and the Super Heavy are fully reusable, something Musk intends to take advantage of to cut the cost of his idea. However, the Starship's design is complicated by its reusability. 
At this certain point, many people may question whether a version 2 is necessary given the starship's size and power. But of course, a larger starship is required. Consider launching a starship and preparing it for a journey to Mars. To fuel the starship traveling to Mars, four starship tankers will be required. Otherwise, there will be insufficient petrol to get there. This refueling necessitates a great deal of fiddling with rendezvous, docking, pumping and undocking. A larger Starship 2.0 that can supply all of the fuel, on the other hand, will greatly simplify things. The latest generation of Starship's Raptor engine version 2.0 is a big advance in simplification. Musk claims presumably making life easier for the engineers who have to design Super Heavy's nightmarish engine section plumbing, as well as the technicians who have to construct and assemble it. However, there is no avoiding the fact that a single rocket booster with dozens of engines will have an extremely complicated thrust section. Only time will tell whether SpaceX's vast launch vehicle experience is up to the task. SpaceX will start making money from the Starship once it is finished and flying payloads for clients. But until then, it will have to invest heavily on its development. As Musk shared drone footage of the test, he mused about how big SpaceX's next super heavy launch system would be. According to Musk, the next generation system, Starship 2.0 if you will, is twice as large as the vehicle that is poised to send humans and cargo to the moon and Mars. The statement was made on Wednesday, August 28th, and was issued in response to a question by one of Musk's many followers on Twitter. Specifically, they wanted to know if Musk planned on building a larger version at some point in the future. According to the specifications shared by Musk during a presentation at SpaceX's headquarters in September of 2018, the Starship element stands 55 meters tall on its own and is capable of generating 11,500 kilonewtons of force using its six Raptor engines. Three of these Raptors will be the design that is optimized for sea level thrust, while the other three are optimized for thrust in a vacuum. And at present, all this came into fruition. To be sure, it's indeed impossible to deny that this is an exciting prospect. Musk's reference to a next generation spacecraft with a diameter twice that of the current Starship is also in keeping with his ambitious character. For further updates, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, like most things. With this, we wrap up today's video. We appreciate your love and support for our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again tomorrow with more updates.